I was asked a great question by fellow lawyer Emma, who, like me, I think is a mum probably of two kids by the tone of the question, and she really asked this. She's got two children. The older one, she was available to attend and participate in lots of stuff, school things and that sort of thing. With her younger child now, she doesn't have as much time and is wondering, how does she not neglect the younger child? Do I have any tips around that? And I was really thinking about this question, Emma, because it sounds like your life and my life are somewhat structurally similar. Two things about it. I um, suspect that your younger child knows no different. So I, I think the question probably is coming more from how you feel, how you probably feel that you wish you could be more involved in some of the things that we all love to do as parents, but often our work and our lives prevent us from doing um, as much or as hard as we try. I would say, hmm, Firstly, motherhood, I've come to learn, comes with guilt. <laughs> it's just guilt all of the time. And if you allow that guilt to really be present in your life, you will feel it everywhere you go. Um, I have, I guess, reframed that in my mind. I've accepted that I can't be at everything. I've accepted that trying to juggle a career and being a parent means sacrifice everywhere all the time. But it also means opportunity all the time. It means opportunity for my girls. They get to see what life might be like for them. They get to live their dreams. I don't want to raise two little girls that grow up thinking, I can't do what I want to do. I want to say you can, but like everything in life, there are choices and there are consequences. And some of those are great and some of those are challenging. The second thing I'd say to you, Emma, and something that structurally I do is I get the sort of newsletters from school or I get my annual calendar at the beginning of the year and I literally go through and I block out the time for the things that I know I really want to get to. So I love a Stedford land. My older daughter's in dancing and I love a Stedford land and I lock those dates in the minute I I get them and I will not go to work on those days because it's something I love to be a part of. I love the school carnivals. Um, I love getting to some of the celebration of learning days. So the minute those dates come out, I lock that time in. And I think as an employer, if someone that was working with me came and said, hey, this thing's on at my child's school, I'd like to go, I'd say absolutely. But it becomes a two-way conversation. I'd like to go and that urgent thing, this is what I'm going to do about that. Or I'm going to do that work that I was doing this way. It's not just a one-way street. So for me, I'm always just thinking, you know, how can I make this work for everyone in my life? And as long as it does, it sort of works in the end, I think, for my kids as well. So that's my waffly answer to your question, Emma. I think two things, you know, be a bit kinder to yourself. I suspect you're doing a pretty amazing job as a parent. And secondly, try and create the space. Try and lock it in. Be organised. Get your diary out. Take the time off from work to get to the things that really, really matter to you and your family. Thank you.